My name is Eric Mooney with Skipper Buds, and today we're going to walk through a 2016 Galleon 445 HTS. We're starting the swim platform. Um, as you can see, there's a boarding ladder on the port side, and then this whole platform is submersible. And actually, these little inserts in the platform become steps as you lower the platform into the water. Um, also, back here, there's access to a pretty substantial storage locker. There's some bow cushions, filler cushions, fenders in there now, but it goes, you know, pretty far back, maybe 10 feet back. <clears throat> Walking up the starboard side, you can walk up the port side. There's a set of steps, and I'll show you when we go to the bow that it'll access directly to the bow. Walking up the starboard side, there's nice C-shaped seating with the big table that's removable. Um, there's also additional access to that storage in the floor here and then engine room access on the starboard side. Walking in, there's a door here that slides and then a window for this whole section. But actually, once you open the door, you can lower that whole piece down in here. So it makes it just a nice, flush, open uh, concept boat. Additional seating here, and this actually converts into, there's a filler cushion, high-low table. And on the starboard side, grill sink, refrigerator, and then just additional storage. And then controls for AC units up, up here. Double wide helm seat with a nice bolster. Uh, this window actually raises and lowers, which is good if you're communicating with somebody up on the bow or you need to throw a line out, you, you can easily do that from that window. The boat's equipped with Raymarine Electronics. Now you have autopilot, navigation, radar, and then Volvo IPS propulsion with the zip wake the system on the starboard side. Walking down below. Dinet actually converts into a sleeper, so you can sleep two there pretty easily. Uh, additional refrigeration, and then tons of storage all along here, and then right up above the uh, dinette as well. And then there's your control panel. It's your day head, which also doubles as a head for the VIP. It's a wet head, um, but pretty good space in here. And the VIP, again, more storage all along the tops and then along the bottom too, um, near the bed. Another TV, access to that day head, and then a pretty good size locker in here. The master's a full beam master. Uh, hard to tell with the blind strong, but there's windows on both sides. So, you know, we're in a storage building now, but out on the water, it lets in a ton of natural light. Uh, more storage up along uh, the starboard side of the master, and then good size hanging locker with some shelving here. You do have to duck a little bit to get to the other side of the bed, but again, it's a full beam, so it's easy to walk around once you get over there. And a nice sofa in here, too. And then here's your private head with, with a separate shower. And again, substantial space back here, too. One thing I forgot to mention too, as you walk out, there's a, uh, this whole panel is a sunroof, so it completely opens up the boat. I'll see with that open, this window open, and then this whole back glass open, you really can get, you know, nice open air feel to it. 
I'll walk up to the bow just to show you the nice long wide walkways. It's in storage now, but there's a filler cushion that goes in here. And then there's a nice little awning that comes up to give you a little sun protection. As you can see going down, it takes you directly to the swim platform on the port side. And up top, there's a you know, Raymarine radar, FLIR camera, and then a KVH satellite dome as well. Again, my name is Eric Mooney. If you have any additional questions about this boat, please don't hesitate to reach out.